Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Punk People here, and today I'm here with Gaten, and uh, let's do this. All right. How do you like this convention so far? I saw that you had a mu- humongous line. Oh yeah, the convention's great. It's actually it's my fourth convention. Uh, I like this a lot because I'm close to home. I'm only about an hour dri- hour drive away. Um, the line is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, it, it it was a little like. I, I, I'm not much of a sitter, I was like sta- but I was standing the whole day. <laughs> this is probably like the first time I was sat in like four hours, besides the panel. But um, oh, I'm having a great time, um, definitely. It's just, a, it's just um, a great experience meeting all my fans and um, getting to talk with them. Yeah, definitely. Like, what did you think when you saw the giant line waiting for you? Uh, it was weird. <laughs> yeah, definitely, it was weird. Um, uh, it's it's kind of strange. To be, like people tell me, like I, I like people say that like I inspired them, and I said, "Thank you." It's like it's such an honor to hear that. But um, when I saw the line, I said, "This is weird, but it's great that people appreciate my work, and I appreciate them as much as they appreciate me." So, awesome. Yeah. If you could have any superpowers, what would you pick? Uh, transfiguration, shape shifting. I'd want to. I could just. You could do so many things in that. Like you could have super speed. Like if you just transform into a cheetah, and then you could fly. Like if you transform into a bird, you know, you could do anything. If you uh, transform yourself into whatever you want, particularly animals, Tra- transforming into animals. I would like pick up invisibility, so uh, you can just walk into anything without yeah. security, yeah. and you know. Whoa. What are you planning on doing? <laughs> sneaking. Into, and sneaking into places without sneaking, security. Sneaking. Hang on Sneaking into a concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, what would you do if you woke up one night and you were in the upside down? I would cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the truth. I'd cry and then I would take, I would get those weird growth vines and cover myself in them to hide my scent. And I would sleep as much as I could. I don't know. I just, there's nothing else to do in there. I'd cry, hide, and sleep. I honestly wouldn't know what I would do. No? I'd probably just, like, you know, like, I'd give Never up. Never run. I don't get why. Like, unless he sees you, don't run. Because then it's just going to be like, oh, look at what's that guy running. I'm going to go chase him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just got to gotta stay put. <laughs> were you nervous the first time you were acting on the set of Stranger Things? Very. I was very nervous. Um... Yeah, because that day uh, we had a big case of the giggles, and what a big case of the giggles is when um, one person or something in the room makes you laugh, and then it sets off a chain reaction, and that chain reaction can die off, but a case of the giggles is when it never dies off, and it just stays with you the rest of the day, (laughs) and the bad part about this was is that there were several different chain reaction things happening all at once to give us the giggles throughout the whole day, and it was terrible because it was the first day of our shooting. And um, you do not want to have a case of the giggles on your first day. And so, yeah, I was definitely nervous. Um, less about the acting and more about the fact that I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> what if you just started laughing? What if you just started laughing in the middle of the whole entire show and just couldn't stop? Mm, that's happened. <laughs> uh, no, um, I remember I always like to joke around with... Um, the boys and and Millie, I always like to joke around with them. And I remember this one time we were doing a scene and we were practicing our lines. And then I just, I forgot my line. And so I said something really stupid to add onto the scene. And then um, they started laughing because they thought it was super funny. And then they said, rolling. And then, <laughs> and, and then I got a straight face because I don't laugh at my own jokes a lot. And then Caleb and Finn. They were still laughing, and they laughed throughout the whole scene. It was great. And they never cut. They just kept on laughing. They're like, maybe they'll, maybe they'll get better. Maybe they'll get better. And they're like, maybe. And it never happened. I'm like, all right, just cut it. <laughs> it was great. What's your favorite place in the whole world to visit? Uh, I don't know. Goodness gracious, probably Jersey. I just like Jersey, but uh, no, no, I got, I love my hometown. But I don't know. I mean, I've been to L.A., which is really cool. It's it's a cool place, but it's not really my style. It's very city. It's very city. It's like I definitely like going to L.A. I went to Paris one time. I went to um, I went to London. I mean, these were great, but nothing beats just going home. You know. What was it like in London? London? Oh, it was cool. People are 
People are really cool there. I like the way they talk there. That's why I like talking with Millie because she has an awesome accent. They're just cool. They just sound even if they're talking about like maybe even if they're talking about farts, they sound so sophisticated. <laughs> Salt Lake City. Oh, Salt Lake City. That was great. It's gorgeous there. The mountains. Uh, I went there and people were like, "Come horseback riding, come rafting," and it's like, "Okay." <laughs> it's just like yeah. But um, yeah, Salt Lake City was great. Maybe Salt Lake, but besides home, maybe Salt Lake. Not to be Jersey, we're our own breed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jersey! Yeah! What was it like going to the White House and meeting President Obama? Oh, it was great. It's always an honor to meet the president, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's, always, it's an honor to meet the president. Um, uh, uh, he, um, I grew I grew up with him like he was uh, the pres the president when I was going through elementary school and so I would look at him through everything that he was doing and I would learn and so like he's like how I had had learned about what was going on in the country and everything and um, it was definitely great like someone you see um, in kindergarten and like someone says this is our new president and I'm like cool I was in kindergarten and then like seeing and then growing up watching him and then being able to meet him. It was just, it's just, it's an honor. It was an honor, definitely. Yeah, that would be awesome to mm -hmm. be the president. How does it feel to be able to inspire other kids who have CCD? Oh, amazing. Because these kids um, and just people, they their voices have never been heard before because no one's, it's a rare disease that no one has ever um, taken any time to um, talk about. And... Now that I've talked about it and people are knowing about it, it's fin kind of finally like these people have justice because um, they're getting the attention that they deserve. And um, now that um, for um, an organization that I'm helping start called CCD Smiles, now that um, it's out there and people know about it, people are showing the support in every way and it just makes me so happy because when I went to Salt Lake City, it was to help start um, the CCD organization, and that was like that was the most people I had been with who have CCD. I there were seven of us in in the house, and that's a lot of people um, with that condition in one room. And I actually met a girl um, in line today who had CCD. Yeah, so I got to meet her. It was definitely great seeing someone who, and showing my support, and, like, because that's, like, someone that who can, like, who I can relate to, it's, like, someone who can relate to me, and, like, we can, like, because anyone who has that condition, you feel a connection with them, because even if you've never known them, you feel like you're automatically friends with them, because you just already have something in common that nobody else has. It's definitely great to see kids tell me that I'm helping them, because, that's really all I've wanted with my condition. It's like someone tell me what I have because other doctors would say, you have this, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And a lot of times it did happen, it didn't happen. But now that they're, people are understanding, it's definitely great that um, I get to be a part of it. So. Awesome. Were you ever afraid of monsters when you were growing up? Um, no. Nah. I was less afraid of monsters and more afraid of, like, bugs, like, being in my bed. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. I was so paranoid because there were, at one point in time, there were a few mice in our house, and then we had just got a cat, so that the mice number dropped down a lot. <laughs> and my cat would actually bring little presents to my sister, which was dead mice. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be more scared to open up like my covers and see like a hive of insects. I don't know why. I would have nightmares about that sometimes. Yeah, I hate bugs. Yeah, no, I don't hate bugs. I just don't want them in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> what if you mo what if what was your most proud moment? of being a successful actor so far? Oh, well, um, maybe meeting the president, <laughs> but also um, having someone say that I inspired them, and that's definitely, like, that tells me, and they say, like, what you're doing is making me really happy and you're doing a good thing. That really, it's about the people that um, 
respect me for what I'm doing. It's not really what I do, and it, it is. It's the art that I love the art, but it's the people that respect me for doing it and say that I'm doing a good job and let me know that what I'm doing is right is like that's really what makes me happy about this job is the people that support me all the way through it. Of course, my family, of course, my parents, my brother, my sister, but everyone, they're just so supportive in everything I do. And just to have people just like res- respect me, it just, it just makes me feel like, and it makes me feel like Surreal. happy that I'm doing something. Yeah. What are some of your favorite bands? Oh, um, well, I like I like Green Day, um, My Chemical Romance. I like my brother listens to a lot of Led Zeppelin, and I've been listening to them with him for a while. They're really great, and um, uh, yeah, those those three like are the ones that I've kind of been listening to. I I'm kind of just like whatever's on the radio, I'll kind of listen to and be like, that's cool. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna like buy their every single one of their albums, but. Um, yeah, the bands that I like, I like Green Day a lot. Green Day is pretty, probably up there for my top favorite. Awesome. Yeah. I like Queen. Yeah, cause... my brother likes Queen. I I'm a, I like Queen. I like Queen, definitely. Yeah, they're yeah. awesome. Mm-hmm. I also like Journey and Bon Jovi. They're cool, too. Yeah, yeah. they're awesome. Journey. Journey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the comparison questions. Okay. Singing or Acting. Acting. TV acting or Broadway shows? Mm, maybe, yeah, probably Broadway shows. It just holds a special place in my heart. Yeah. Adults or kids? Kids. Kids rule. Kids rule. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, thank you for having me here. It was great meeting you. Give me, give me a hug. Thank you. Yay! And I just want to point out that we're wearing this. And he gave me this, and it fits perfectly. So, yeah, that's all I have to add. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you.